Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Good morning, Prof. PD, Kuyanti, and friends. On this occasion, we would like to present the topic related to features, professional identity, and agency. Before we begin, let me introduce the member of this group. Firstly, myself, my name is Mugitri Pati. And then secondly, we have Muhammad Patoko Afandi. And last, we have Andreas C.L. Toruman. The engineer for this presentation, there will be three sub-topics. The first one is teacher's professional identity, which will be delivered by myself. And the second one is teacher's professional agency, which will be delivered by Afandi. And the last is pedagogical implications, which will be delivered by Andreas. And at the end of this uh, presentation, there will be discussion, class discussion. Now let's begin with the first subtopics, the teacher identity. According to Sachs, as cited in uh, Rusholm and Thomas 2009, teacher professional identity stands for the teaching profession. It provides a framework for teachers to construct their own ideas of how to be, how to act, and how to understand their work and their place in society. Importantly, teacher identity is not something that is fixed, nor is it imposed. Rather, it is negotiated through experience and the sense that is made of that experience. So in other words, teacher identity is uh, how teacher uh, receive, perceive themselves as who they are or what they do. In this occasion, I would like to uh, give you some uh, different perspective of teacher identity. The first one is according to Act Number 14, Year 2005, about uh, teacher and lecturers. According to the Act, the teacher is someone who is responsible for uh, doing the educational processes such as teaching and the guiding and the training and so on. And in another part, teacher has also have, has also have to have, uh, teachers have also have to have qualifications and competencies and also uh, other requirements. Now, according to Hammer 2007, teachers uh, have to have uh, at least six characteristics. The first one is effective personality. It is a blend of the real personality of the person and also the personality of uh, the way they should be as teachers. And then uh, the adaptability. Teachers has to be adaptable to situations since they may be changes in situations that they expect or expect. And then teachers uh, have different role, roles. Therefore, they have to have the ability to switch roles according to these situations. On the other hand, uh, teachers should also have good rapport with students. They have to build relationship with students to raise inter students' internal motivation. They have to listen to the students. They have to respect the students, recognize the students, and so on. And uh, teachers should also have professional and pedagogical skills, skills that are related to learning content and the processes involved in education and training. And lastly, uh, teachers should have sufficient knowledge, not only about the concepts of the materials, but also the technical knowledge, uh, such as the use of technology in teaching. Next, according to Search U 2006, there is another identity of teacher uh, regarding the English as a foreign language teacher. This one is called the FLIC, Foreign Language and Intercultural Competence Teacher. So foreign language teacher should also be an intercultural competence teacher. The characteristics are, are as follows. Uh, in the knowledge, they have to be familiar with the foreign culture, and not only they have to be familiar with the foreign culture, they also have to know their own culture so that they can uh, compare, they can tell the differences, they can tell the similarities between cultures. And then they have to know the stereotypes, how the people stereotype the foreign culture, 
and then uh, how they can relate to the, their own cultures. And they help to know how to select materials appropriate in uh, for use in learning so that they can promote intercultural competence. In terms of skills, uh, they have to have the four savoirs as, uh, as proposed by Piran in uh, SIT in Sir 2006. The first one is software apron, knowing how to learn, and the second is software comprehend, knowing how to understand, and then software fair expertise and software right, know how. And the uh, last one, according to the attitudes, uh, FLIC teacher, they favor the integration of teaching culture and language. They also define the objectives of uh, their learning in terms of foreign language and intercultural competence. So they, on, they don't only uh, aim their learning to, uh, for, for only foreign language teaching, but also intercultural competence. And then lastly, they are willing to take uh, account of the people's perception and attitude, and, and then they can go further with that. From the finding, it uh, was found that most teachers have the capability of uh, presenting or promoting intercultural competence. However, when it comes to teachers' attitudes, there are two different groups. The first one is teachers to strengthen the integration of intercultural competence for a language education, and the other one are those who favor in the integration. Uh, teachers who disfavor the integration, they have several convictions such as the integration is impossible. There is no way that they can integrate intercultural competence and foreign language teaching in a classroom. And then they also thought that IC or intercultural competence acquisition cannot take place at school. Uh, moreover, they do not believe in the positive effect of the intercultural competence in their students. And they thought that only when there are minority group of children uh, that does the, uh, is the intercultural competence needed in uh, classroom situations. And uh, on the other hand, teachers favoring the integration of intercultural competence in foreign language education think that uh, teaching culture is of equal importance. They are as important as teaching the language itself. And that integration is possible. There's possibility to integrate intercultural competence and foreign language teaching. And moreover, the intercultural competence uh, have a positive effect. It can make people more uh, tolerant to the, to the other culture. And that uh, intercultural competence should be taught to all pupils, not only when there are minority group children in the classroom. Now, another uh, interesting issue in teacher identity is the uh, dichotomy between native English speaking teacher and non-native English speaking teacher. According to Algazo and Zidane 2009, there has been traditional view about the DNST and NNST, the non-native English speaking teacher and non-native English speaking teacher. In the traditional view, the native English speaking teachers are the only reliable models for the second language learners. However, the recent situation has not been uh, much any difference. There has not been uh, any difference. The non-native English speaking teachers still experience discrimination, especially in hiring practices. Uh, according to Remten, however, uh, the expertise rather than nativeness should be the main uh, factor in identifying what teachers are or uh, the identity of the teacher. Uh, in addition to that, Swan 2005 believes that professional beliefs, understanding the students' needs and understanding the roles of English should be the main character of a teacher identity. And lastly, Levis, Levi's Sunsat and Link 2017 also argued that expertise and level of professionalism should be the main characteristics of a uh, teacher. Okay, that's the end of my presentation. The next part will be delivered by Pandi. Thank you very much.